Hey, it's just so Trish and it is Wellness Wednesday. My lighting's not really good, so forgive me. I've done everything and it just isn't getting better. So anyways, tomorrow's my birthday. Tomorrow's my birthday and I'm going through this cleanse. So let me tell you all about that. All right, so if you didn't know, I'm doing this cleanse. I talked about it last week. I'm talking about it this week. And um, I did a, I did a walkthrough, everything that's in it. This was the first part, and it involved a five-day fast. So today would be day number five. And I actually decided to break the fast a day early. At first, it wasn't too bad. I will say at first, and I think like I did a little bit of too much pre-fasting into the fast because I went three days where I really cut my amount of food down really small. And then when it began, this stuff right here, it's, um, this is the toxin absorbers. So you do five of these a day. I'm to the point like, I don't want to see these things. Ugh. Um, so there have high xylem husk which i use xylem husk actually to make um a type of wrap by trim healthy mama which is really good it has bentonite powder bentonite clay dirt just say dirt um organic ginger root and apple pectin and so you mix this up with i think eight ounces eight ounces of apple juice really good they have a little shaker jar you shake it up and you drink it five times a day it made me feel full so for the first three days i was like this is fine well the first two and a half days i was like this is good i'm not hungry this is just fine by like the end of the second day i or no the first day i started juicing which was good third second day i was juicing so i juiced through it and i bought I didn't buy organic. I know I should, but I just, I have to do what I can do. And so I did um, vegetable broth. I bought some vegetable broth from Aldi's and I've been heating that up. I mean, I, I drank three or four quarts of it because I'm just like, I need something. So anyway, you do this five times a day. And then at the end of the night, you take this to make you poop. So, today's day five, and I broke the fast. I did. I Last night, I went to bed knowing I was going to break the fast this morning. So, it wasn't like, I'm done. And even still, it wasn't that satisfying. All I ate was an apple. Because the last thing you want to do, from what I understand, is just gobble a bunch of food. And so, here's like the big part. I'm not going to be nearly as focused. I'm so sorry. And my hair, like, just will not behave. It's raining today, and I can't get it. I don't know. It's this part right here. Good, good. Except for this part. Doesn't want to behave. Anyway, did I tell you tomorrow's my birthday? I'm going to be 39. 39. I think I look a lot better turning 39. I wish my lighting was better. I'm, uh, anyways, 39. Yep, I'm going to be 39. I got like... After tomorrow, 365 days left of my 30s. I don't know. Um, so anyways, I will say, okay, so let me just tell you this. Four minutes in, I'm so sorry. Um, one thing I noticed, I don't know if you know. When you wake up in the morning, and stick my tongue out, forgive me. The white on top of your tongue is candida yeast so it's actually like yeast in your tongue coming into this so i knew like my yeast was bad in my system my yeast was really thick every morning and i'd brush it off and what i've noticed is as time has gone by in the cleanse that thick white patch on my tongue is getting thinner and thinner so a really good tongue is red nice and red 
you know, but not like blood red and patchy. There's like a whole like diagnosis thing you can do on your tongue. So I've noticed like the candida on my tongue has gotten, gotten thinner, 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 thinner every day. So that means the population is not nearly as huge. Um, the other thing that has happened doing the cleanse so far is I have had the best sleep. I have had in years in years it's bizarre um, it started so you did the three-day pre-cleanse where you only took one of these every night you did one of those a day and what happened was by the third one before going into the main one I started dreaming really vivid dreams not like like before I, like for the last few years it's like my dreams are really thin I don't have a lot of they're not deep dreams they're just kinda like little but this whole week deep vivid dreams I haven't had dreams like that in years which also means I'm sleeping and I'm resting really well so that has been huge those two things have been huge um, I also started shark week on top of this kinda crazy yeah um, the big thing about it is it's all about the poop, right? So without details, I'm not going to be even gross. It has been, you know, I was really terrified going into this that I was going to be like running to the bathroom all the time. And it hasn't been that way. And, it, you know, a couple days in there, it was just like, it was, it didn't feel abnormal, if that makes sense. It was just all kind of normal. I will say yesterday was really hard. Um, drinking, I think, a lot of juice and a, a lot of fresh juice and a lot of vegetables, veg vegetable broth and vegetable juices. The, um, not bloated, but like the gas moving through, gurgling and everything was bad really 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 bad um so that really uncomfortable so i'm not sure if it's just because i kept overloading on juice wanting that like satisfaction i realized how emotional i am with food and although i wasn't hungry my mouth was bored i just was missing the pleasure of food really missing the pleasure of coffee I'm not going to lie, part of it was like being very uncomfortable with the gas and everything. I'm like, I would like some food in my system is why I broke the fast. But the other side of it was, it's my birthday tomorrow. I don't want to break my fast on my birthday. Because, I mean, today I think I'm eating, I ate an apple. And then for lunch or something, I might eat another apple or half a banana. I think for lunch I'm going to have like a little bit of rice, but like the quantities have to be really tiny. You know, so I'm going to have like a little rice, some, some rice, like um, brown rice or probably, probably some jasmine rice would be really good. And a little bit of steamed vegetables, like that's what I'm going to eat. So, and then like tonight will probably be about the same, just a little bit. And... I'm doing that because I want to have coffee on my birthday. <laughs> I know that sounds just so, but I want to have coffee. I did a four day full fast. That's the most I've ever done. Um, I pre kind of did a pre fast coming in really eliminating, you know, in the first few days, I'm sorry, this is such a ramble. The first few days I was like, oh, you know, I could so do raw and I could be a raw vegan and I could do this. That's not smart. Mm -mm. I can't do that. I don't have time to eat like that. I don't have a grocery bill to eat like that. And if you're not careful, you start losing your hair and you get really sick. I don't, that's not what I need to do. Um, I've been spending a lot of time on YouTube just watching and trying to collect everything I can about where do I go from here on how I eat? Yeah. Where do I go from here? I don't know yet. It's not being vegan. It's not being all meat. It's, I think it's a little bit of just being seasonal and sticking to really core food, single ingredient food. 
you know, staples that aren't processed, cutting out the processed food and making it. I knew I was in trouble last night. I was watching Emery's, Esther Emery's husband make biscuits and I was like, biscuits, I need biscuits. So the first few days I was along the lines of, oh, I'm gonna so eat healthy after this. What a great way to reset my mouth and my palate to now I'm just like, give me biscuits and gravy and coffee and where's my eggs, you know, really to not junk food, but just comfort food. Um, so I don't know if that has to do with Shark Week, if that has to do with what it has to do with, but I was like, I need comfort food now, rice and gravy. And that's not good. That's not good at all. As for doing this as an idea for weight loss, I don't think I would do it for that. I'm a little bit nervous that I think if I did a three-day fast with the toxin absorbers, I would be more inclined to be ready to be like, I'm going to eat good food and good choices. I will say by the end of day four, my ability to make choices are kind of tainted. So I'm just using self-control. And with that, I'm along the lines of um, portion control. I think I'm now worse. I, you know, and that's kind of one of the problems you run into about fasting is that you come out, you know, binge purge, binge purge, that kind of deal. It, it really made me scary, considerate and thoughtful of how easy it would be to fall into an eating disorder, especially if you used fasting as part of that. I would never do that. I did lose a couple pounds. Yay! You know, I did lose four pounds over this. But I'll be honest with you, I do not expect them to stay gone. I think once I start eating, they'll come right back on. You know, let's be realistic. That's what happens. Anyway, so tomorrow's my birthday! Yeah! And... I take... Five of these today take one tomorrow one tomorrow I have three days off and then I start the big internal cleanse and I think I do one of these every night for a week again and then I start doing all the other stuff and the parasites and stuff like that um, I seen some weird stuff come out if you know what I mean but it wasn't like everybody else had posted on YouTube that I watched and about the Mercolio plaque. It wasn't that extreme. So I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I think. I do think I have a little more energy. I have done a lot of laundry this week. I don't know if that's because I'm avoiding eating or because I'm actually motivated. I don't know. And it's given me a lot of things to think about. And I don't know if that's because I'm not eating or if like this cleanse is doing these things to my toxins and my brain is like contemplating and chewing over things that it hasn't chewed over before or that you know it knew it knew it need to think about but it didn't but I don't know so there you go there you go wellness Wednesday crackpot Trish shouldn't say that but I do feel like that um, surviving breaking the fast Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I'm taking up all your time, but happy birthday to me. All right, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.